Shabbat Shalom. This week's Torah portion, Vayera, focuses our attention on the Hebrew word ro'eh, the verb for sight. Again and again, in different variations, this verb form appears in our portions, beginning with the opening sentence, Vayera, and God appeared. The word Vayera is a variation of the word ro'eh, in that it centers its meaning on the notion of God being seen, God appeared. Later in the portion, we see Hagar, desperate, dejected, in the desert with her son Ishmael, giving up hope. The angel of the Lord has to appear to her and show her that there is water right in her vicinity, but she has to see it. And until that moment, she has been overcome and unable to open her eyes. So too with Abraham during the binding of Isaac. Again and again, the verb forms for ro'eh appear, the place that they're going. Moriah actually means the place of seeing. And Abraham, too, sees the mountain far off, but when he is about to slaughter his son, his eyes fail to see a ram caught by its horn in the thicket. That has to be pointed out by the angel. This portion is one about how we see things and how sometimes we do not. What is a special of special interest is the fact that when Isaac and Abraham come down the mountain, they are completely separate. Whereas the Torah reminded us again and again that the two walked together up the mountain, after the binding of Isaac incident, the Torah only records that Abraham returned to Beersheba. Moreover, and perhaps even more ominous, is the idea that Abraham and Isaac never speak again, according to the Torah. Perhaps they had very different perspectives through the generation of what took place that day on Har HaMoriah. This discussion of what we see and different perspectives and what we do not see is, I think, especially pertinent to the modern state of Israel. The Jewish people, both in Israel and outside of Israel, are not in agreement in terms of Israel's uh, the state of things with Israel, its present and its future. This discussion and these disagreements really go beyond movement lines, but seem to be where seem to appear wherever we look. It's time for us to begin the process of rethinking our perspectives about Israel. The Shalom Hartman Institute, located in Jerusalem, has long been a place where people of different perspectives can come and learn. They have created a new video series, which we are going to be showing in the spring, entitled Engaging Israel, Foundations for a New Relationship. Those lectures will allow us in our community to engage in a different conversation, one not solely based on the Holocaust and survival, but broaden our perspectives so that we can discuss Israel together across generational lines more successfully than we are doing today. This Sunday, Rabbi Daniel Hartman of the, of the Institute will be joining us. He is a, deny, a dynamic lecturer and writes often about the state of things in Israel. We're very honored that he will be with us, and you are cordially invited to join in the conversation that will begin at 10.30 uh, this Sunday morning. What a wonderful way to complete the Torah reading for this week of Vayera and focus on not only the seeing of Abraham's time, but the importance of sight and destiny in our own. Shabbat Shalom.
vem no lado mais, pelo reino leste.